In this video, we are going to look at coding chapter 14 in our ICD 10 CM coding manual, which is coding diseases of the genital urinary system, and our codes will be between N00 to N99. Our chapter specific coding guidelines are right here in the front of our tabular list. You can see there's only three for the genital urinary system. Chronic kidney disease, coding the stages of the kidney disease, chronic kidney disease and kidney transplant status, and then coding chronic kidney disease with other conditions. So as always, you want to make sure to read the official chapter specific coding guidelines as you're coding each chapter to make sure that you're familiar with what the guidelines are telling us to do as coders. You can see the tabular list. There's not a lot of pages in this chapter, about 17, so pretty brief chapter. Again, like always, we always utilize the front of our ICD-10 CM coding manual, the alphabetical index, which is right behind our official coding guidelines, to look up our diseases, diagnoses that we are coding we always look it up in the alphabetical index first and then verify in the tabular section next. So, as always, I'm going to give you three scenarios. I want you to pause the video after each scenario. Try to find the correct answer yourself. Unpause when you think you have the answer and compare your answer to the answer I provide. So, our first patient is a 56-year-old coming in with acute pyelonephritis. So what is the code we would assign for acute pyelonephritis? Hopefully you guys came up with N10, so N10, acute pyelonephritis. It gives all the other synonyms that can be used. If you see these in, a doc in documentation, it means the same thing as acute pyelonephritis. It also gives us a used additional code if we know the organism that caused the pyelonephritis. So the doctor would have to document that in the dictation, you know, acute pyelonephritis due to, let's say it was due to E. coli. We would also code the E. coli. If we don't know, you don't use that additional code, only if it's documented, right? So how do we look this up? We're gonna go to our alphabetical index to PY and look up pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis, once we get here, it was acute, so that's where we get our N10. Okay, our next scenario, we have a 87-year-old being seen for a rectocele. So what is the diagnosis code we're going to assign for a rectocele? N81.6 is the correct code, rectocil, and again, it even gives us more information. Tells us that's a prolapse of the posterior vaginal wall, and use additional code for any associated fetal incontinence if applicable. So again, the documentation from the physician would have to tell you that the patient had fetal incontinence, or fecal incontinence, sorry, to code that as well. You just can't pick up a code from a use additional code. It's only if the physician documented that that additional diagnosis was present in your patient as well. So how did we find this code in our alphabetical index? We just went to R, to rectocil. So rectocele, and then female without uterine prolapse, and we're given the code N81.6. Now you can see if we had a rectocele in a male, it's a different code. But our patient was female, so N81.6. And then our last scenario for today, we have a 56-year-old male being seen today for nephrolithiasis. 
So what is the diagnosis code we're going to assign for nephrolithiasis? So you should have come up with N20.0 N20.0 Calculus of kidney, right? Nephro means kidney. Lith is the stone and iasis is conditioned of. So you have to use your medical terminology if you're not sure what some words were or look them up using a medical dictionary. It also tells us right here some synonyms. So nephrolithiasis, not otherwise specified, renal calculus, renal stone, staghorn calculus, stone and kidney. All of those mean nephrolithiasis or calculus of the kidney. Our code is N20.0. So how did we find this? In our alphabetical index, we're going to go to N, to nephrolithiasis. Nephrolithiasis, right here it tells us, C also calculus kidney. So now we're going to go to C and then to CA for calculus. So calculus, kidney, and then we're given N20.0.